Early last week, we uh, started throwing excluders in because the flow had started. I'm just making my rounds, doing my Sunday assessment. I had to figure out where the apiary's at to help plan the next week. So I'm just gonna poke into a few hives just to see what things look like and just to see if I made the right decision on my strength so far. So I'm just gonna dig through this colony here. I'm gonna go through the third, the second, and I'm gonna peek down into the bottom to see if there's any cells being made. Um, I just want to see how much honey is in these hives, and I just want to see if I have them too strong or too small. So this third is full of honey. These bees are actively working the top box here. Not full, but they've nicely started filling the top box here, so this is beautiful. So, this means this colony is fairly strong. So, this would be a good colony to start with to take a look to see um, if there's any swarm cells being made and see if I've tipped the balance to the wrong side here. This box is right full of honey. Let's take a peek underneath here. I'm just looking and there's no cups so this colony is right on the money filling up with honey I'm gonna have to add a fourth right away put them back together Okay, we'll go into the colony beside it now. This one's not quite as strong. But they're nicely working up into the top box, exactly where I want them. Well, they've got just about as much honey stored in the top yet. So we've got a nice strong flow going on here. Good weight to it. This box is right full. Take a look underneath. And there's no cells down underneath. Typically, if a hive is swarming, you'll see cells at the bottom of the nest. Typically. So, I'm not seeing any cells. And I'm seeing full boxes of honey. So, I think I might have things right on the money. Colony's nicely working in the top. Beautiful. See if they're doing anything underneath. Lots of drone comb underneath, but no cells. <laughs> 